Hello everyone, this is Kim Sun here, and welcome back to my LP of Final Fantasy IX. In the last episode, we got here to Fossil Brew, I believe. I believe that's what this place is called. Wrong button. Yes, that's what it's called. And uh, to try to find a way to the Outer Continent. And this episode, we're going to navigate through Fossil Brew, which is actually a very tedious dungeon, if I had to say so myself. Well, only if you don't know where you're going. Oh, I should be talking. <laughs> You don't know? This excavation site has tons of treasure and rare fossils. You're not here to steal them? No, we're not treasure hunting. Do you know this? Does this tunnel, li t tunnel connect to the outer continent? The outer continent? You trying to go outside? Huh. The tunnel. This tunnel is like a web. I don't even know how far it travels. Yeah, it's like a maze. You'll need to go that way, but it's quite a trip. The only way to go farther further in is to hitch right on the gargant. But it'll lead you to a dead end if you let it go wherever it wants. So you navigate the Gargant with that switch over there. What's the relationship between the switch and the Gargants? The, the switch changes which fountain the water comes out from. Gargants hate water. You can block off the section you don't want to go by activating the fountain with that switch. That over there is the number two switch. You'll need to trigger it to go over to the other side. I see. How do I get there? Do I have to tell you everything? Yes. You can get there on a gargant, but you'll need to trigger the number one switch to do that. I see. Thanks for the info. Okay. You have to play cards with that guy. Let me. I don't feel like it. I'm not going to achieve that goal, at least in this playthrough, of like getting a trophy to um, at least, you know, you know, face off against 10 or 100 people. Uh, the card game for this game. <laughs> anyway, I'm actually gonna go this way first because I think it leads to a chest that's at a dead end. I believe. Let me check. I was right. Fairy earrings. Nice. I think I already have a pair of those. Do I? No, I don't. Okay. They basically are, you know, raise wind elemental attacks, but you'll learn level up and body temp, even on the male characters. Like you said on here, for an accessory. Which is nice, because sooner or later you're going to need a body temp ability for some enemies coming up. Well, not r so far in the future, but, eh, whatever. Where's, okay. <laughs> I was getting lost there for a second. Well, not so much lost, I was just couldn't find the spot. Anyway, let's just go back the way we came. <laughs> so how's everybody today? today? Today is actually um, Halloween. Even though it hasn't really become ha the Halloween day yet. It's actually 1.53 a.m. in the night, morning, whatever. And, yeah. Now it's gonna, probably nothing's going to happen to me today, to be honest. Except maybe eating a lot of candy. <laughs> Hopefully that candy will encourage me to record more because I'll be talking a lot and being hyper. Hopefully. Anyway, we gotta go this way. No, there's nothing over there in that direction. But we can go in this direction and find a switch. Let's flip the switch. Now we gotta go back to the other Gargant that we were just at. Not this one, but the other one. And, um, you know re ride him back on the route that we were going down. But it'll go in a different direction. You'll see what I mean in a second. That's basically what that guy just explained. Oh wait, no it's not. It goes in the other direction. Excuse me. I was, I was thinking about the other one we were facing. Oh, wait, there's something up here that we can get. I need to face some enemies around here. So I can get some certain blue magic skills. I'll leave those in the description, as always, of what you can find and eat and stuff. Anyway, let's just keep on going on. If I could just... So, the, the Steam and um, PS4 versions of this game, like, the movement of the characters, you always have to use the D-pad instead of the analog stick. Because it's just so awkward. Well, at least for the PS4 version, you have to use the D-pad and this aqua. Oh, 
good thingy. Oh, is it on? Of course. Let's see what kind of enemies we will face here. If it will let me. There you go. Oh, this is an enemy I want to eat. Hopefully I don't kill it in the first, um, you know, thing. Let's steal from it first. Then attack. Then wait for baby's turn to come up. Then attack. Then eat. Hopefully that won't kill it. Or, you know, anyway. Ow. Okay, that wasn't a trouble tale. Come on, Queen, I eat it. Ah, uh, not just yet. I'm gonna wait a second for BB to hit it. Just in case. Okay. Eating stuff is so tedious sometimes. I'd be healing myself. I don't even know how much damage they're doing. Level 4 holy. Nice. Now I can actually kill them off normally. That's the anointment. Nice. Garden actually does pretty well damage, or pretty good damage, unlike regular enemies with her physical attack, which is strange. But whatever. At least it says her MP. If I attack, you know. He's dead. To say we're using Bazaar, that's no way natural to use fire against them. Nice. People learned a lot of stuff. Okay. Let me get that trouble off of Queena. There you go. Let's actually trip my equipment really quick. I actually did some other stuff off screen. I actually put Periodot on Vivi so he can learn Thundara faster and we switch his lightning staff to a flame staff so he can, can, can eventually learn sleep and continue learning fire but he'll grow fire he'll learn fire up faster because he has two things like this you see I think that's pretty much it can I get to the stupid thank you okay <laughs> I don't know why it wasn't letting me get to those flowers in the first place but now it's, 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 it's okay now Did I switch a switch anywhere? I think I did. Hopefully I did. Wait a minute. Did I'm actually confused right now. Did I do it right? I think I did. Okay. Hopefully. If I'm not, I could just cut it. Or montage it or something. I think I wasn't even paying attention because I was focused on the battle I was doing. Boy, how typical. Run, run, run. Or waddle. Whatever you're doing. I think I was supposed to go to the other one next. I hope. Oh, I already bought the things for Silskins from the last episode. Well, good news you're okay, Silskin. To the flower. Meow. Or however it sounds. <laughs> I'm just struggling for commentary at this point. I'm just, you know, going through a little maze here. Okay, good. We did do the right thing. We had to go to source number two here. Good, good. Oh, merchant. Yes, I do. You can actually buy stuff here. Like stuff you ha uh, that you missed out on or something like that. Let's see. If I need anything. Hmm. I'll buy one more mage hat just in case. If I need it. Which I might. Who knows? Oh. Buy two of these. Sure, why not? I don't need metal armor for anyone. Right now. Okay. Well, the music sound weird there. I don't know why. Probably my computer being weird. Okay. I think that's uh, 
I, I was I bought that mage hat just because I actually needed it for another character that's going to come up soon. Spoiler alert, there's another character coming up soon, but not not in this dungeon or anything. Just eventually. I just I'm just uncertain. Oh, do I need to go through here for anything? Let me um see if I need to go to a dead end first or something. If not, just cut back to here. Oh, I think this is the way I'm supposed to go. I think. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna go back for one second. Oi. What? Where's the indicator? There you go. The exclamation exclamation mark. that switch and see what it does. I think I was supposed to to get to a certain item. I think that's how they trick you. And just thinking, oh, if I just, you know, not use the switch, I can go to the rare item. No, you just go straight to progress. I think. Well, if that's the case, I think that's how I remember it. It wasn't like a month ago that I've been to this place. You know? On the PS4 version. No, there's nothing down there. Yeah, this is the place I was supposed to go to get another item, which is a Lamina's Tiara. Our Lamina's. I actually equip that to Dagger because she needs it. Yeah, see, she's still there confused. Uh, Quinny can also put this on her. Well, you know, it doesn't really matter right now. You can't really learn anything from it. I'm surprised I only encountered one thing in this whole place. Okay. I guess it just goes to show you how well how they lowered the encounter rate in these versions. It's just insane. I mean, I, I only had like little doing this. Oh wait, no, wrong button. The encounter's off. I, I'm not doing that. At least, at least for, for backtracking, I am doing that, but. Well, I'm not backtracking, even so, you know, it's just not happening as often as I want it to. You know, when you want to encounter stuff, you just gotta run back and forth like this. Okay. <laughs> so actually go to the path we were supposed to go on. There's actually something up ahead that you might want to do if you're patient enough to do it. Well, actually, let's just go on these vines first. Ah, what the crap? No worry, that's supposed to happen. You can actually go over here now. What's over here? Oh yeah, there's an item over here. We can get. Oh wait, no, there isn't. <laughs> I was thinking ahead of myself here. Or something. Anyway, uh, we can go past these things. Or actually, we can't go past them. You can't be underneath them. If you want to pass, you know, like gotta dodge around them and stuff. Anyway, before I talk to that guy over there, I'm actually gonna go in this direction for an item. That's not an item. There's an encounter. Let me see if I can actually eat these guys now. I forgot to do it earlier. Sleep. Don't put Queen on sleep. It was just baby. I think I have um his guard up. Yeah. Okay, good. So hopefully this will do enough damage to like get him to 55% health left. Hopefully. Come on. No, wait till eater. Right. <laughs> what? Why did I just say there? I don't know. Ah, that didn't affect me at all. We use a regular fire attack. Cause why not? Chip that health down. 
Oh, uh, hopefully that fire doesn't kill him. Even though it's just a regular fire, it does something. Okay, good, it doesn't. Good! Come on. Learn night! Right. That's a sleep spell. If I remember correctly. It puts everyone to sleep, even yourself. Which could be useful if you have, like, it's 100% accuracy, like, my like Pokemon. <laughs> but, um, it's like Spore. Except you, it, hurt, it hits everyone. What am I doing? It's just me explaining so far that it was Pokemon, but no. Well, Knight is like an ability that affects everyone, but it, it doesn't bypass, like, somebody with, like, Insomniac with their, with their equipped ability or something. So yeah, that's useful if you want to get something to sleep. Survival vest. That's actually something new. See if Saddam can equip it. I mean, he's not a stone killer, but... Oh. Okay, I'll think about that in a second. <laughs> we'll eventually get equip that once he learns stone killer. Anyway. So let me check my abilities really quick when I'm thinking about it. Just notice the Zandan was on has silence on him, which is good rid of that. You know he's not really affected by it too much. Wow, I can't believe you made it this far without getting hurt. Well, maybe. This is my territory. Go dig somewhere else. I'll let you excavate here if you in exchange for a potion. Sure. I only have a ton of them. I have like 70. Anyway, what this actually does is it actually gets you some various items if you hit the walls. But first, we actually want to hit this wall instead, where it's actually very suspicious looking. You know what you can do to make this faster? Do this. Cool. Cool ball. Yay! Miggle was in the wall. <laughs> that makes it so much faster instead of just hitting A button like mad. Just hit A button like mad when it's fast forward. That's very effective. Magnet. Yes. Deliver it to Koopo. Yeah, she's actually all the way back in Alexandria, which is very far. Whatever. Let's uh, save our game here for a second while I'm thinking about it. Huh. Okay. Mark, mark. Okay. Uh, what's in the box shop again? Oh, just regular stuff. Okay. I'm actually going to do some something off screen, or I'll probably fast forward it. Uh, what you can get from the walls. You'll see in a second if it actually shows it. You get high potions, you get ores. You can also get something extremely rare, which is why I have it fast forwarded. Just gets why I do happen to get it and not waste my time. It's actually a, a maiden ring, or... I just got it. An achievement just popped up on the bottom of my... <laughs> I got it. I don't believe it. Yeah, we get this ring, which is always I thought mental attacks. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. I don't think anybody can actually use any of the skills on it. I don't think. Oh, well. Never mind. It has body temp on it. But yeah, that's actually uh, something very rare that you can find. You can, uh, you can get an achievement for it. We're playing on the PS4 and Steam version. I had enough. Yeah, that's just something you can potentially do. <laughs> you didn't see the achievement pop up because on the bottom right of my computer. Oh wait, where am I going? I'm going the wrong direction. But that's something you can do here if you want to waste your time on that. It's not as easy as it as I made it out to be. Not at all. Uh, let's go this way. There you go. This is the last lever we need to pull. Someone's trying to get into my room. Great. Uh, you can probably hear my door open there. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. What's going on here? No, it's going down here. <sighs> my cat just wanted to come into the room. I told her not to. And I kicked her out. Anyway. Enough about that basically why I can't record anymore. One of the many reasons. 
Anyway, let's not talk about that. There's the exit! We're going towards it. Hey! I mean, I was just right here when she interrupted me. Ah, whatever. This light. There's no mist here. Strange. It's just like it said, said, there's no mist outside the mist continent, which makes a whole lot of sense. Outer continent. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I'm going to save the next episode for the next episode. Like I said that one hundred times. time. <laughs> Actually, let's see here. Let's uh, put on these fairy earrings. Actually. No, let's put on these. Sure, why not? He needs to learn clear-headed eventually. Actually, let's go for this area now that I think about it. Let me equip it on him while I'm thinking about it. Clear-headed. There you go. This is their ability to go to. Kind of a shame I kept in equipping any of these. Anybody else have clear-headed? Just curious. Clear-headed. You don't, but that's okay. You just equip it right there. Actually. Ah, whatever. Uh, there we go. I feel so much better. Everybody has clear head for this area. But anyway, I think that's clear for now. Because it's been a long recording session. Well, not really long. It's just maybe half of the long recording session. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys next time. And let's play Final Fantasy IX after I do my outro. I, I just botched that up. <laughs> anyway, the next episode of Fun Fantasy Night, we will go towards that little structure over there, which is above our heads. See? Over there? Right over there? Okay. Uh, we're going to go there next time. So, bye for now.